Hello everyone, back at Eldridge, Eldridge King Tract in York Region. We're just going to do all fat biking, but I thought I'd talk to you about this DJI mic setup. See it? Um, what's important about this is, I'm not going to tell you how to use it. I've got this set to mono, both mics. I'm going to put the little uh, wind mufflers on it, but here's a th something that's really important for mountain bikers. So. This is designed, actually I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do two things. DJI mic. Okay, so I got these, I got these the other day. And we're going to talk about how to turn this, okay, into something that doesn't get lost by using this. I'm right. essentially using this with my Action 3. The receiver, I use USB-C, gets plugged into the side watch for that later. But one of the big concerns that I have with this DJI mic device is, you know, they've got this little clippy thing here. You, know, you put that on your clothes and that's great, okay? But when you're mountain biking, oh, look at how easily that came off. When you're mountain biking, there's also the option to use this rare earth magnet, you know? So that's pretty strong as well, but no, it's not, not really. Um, I think that this is not a very secure mounting method. We ride in winter here in Ontario, so we got a lot of clothes on. You've got your hydration pack. You know, you can try to put it onto the this thing here, but again, it just it slips off way too easily. So guess what? Guess what? I use this, which is a stretchy piece of nylon thread that you can get from any fabric store or Amazon. I knot it up like this. See, there's a knot here. There's a knot here. And what I basically do is slip the small knot, that's the knot at the closed end, slip it over this end. Oops. Put it on like this. Slip it on like this. And I move the knot to one of the sides so that the clip can open and close normally without being hindered. And then I take this end, I'm gonna zoom in on this, and you can fasten this anywhere on your hydration pack. So for instance, you can clip this on like this, slip this around here, bring it back over the top like this. There is no way this is ever coming off, short of an explosion. And that applies to any, anywhere you can put it on you know, you want to get, you want to keep this within maybe six inches of your face so that your voice is picked up by the mic. Being omnidirectional, it, it works that way. You clip it on here. Again, you come around the back. You wrap it on here and it's not coming off. You'll never lose this tumble, crash, burn. You have to lose the entire pack to lose your mic. Anyway, and the, uh, little wind mufflers slip on the top and you can put this thing on with or without or thumb. So anyway, that's it. See, probably an inch and a half long and that's all you really need. A piece of elastic that can withstand being outside and freezing cold and stinky hot and is cheap enough so that if it does start to fray, you replace it. Anyway, let's go test this in the field now. See you out there. One, I'm gonna take the base you got to take your little door off your action three, right? And you got to point this in a direction. I prefer to point it backwards because I, oops, make sure the shoe stays on, push at this point. I don't want this sticking forward because it may be in the way of the lens. And I'm going to turn my camera on, start recording. Now, the mics come with a very strong wear earth magnet. They come with a clip, right? But we're riding in the bush and we're riding with all this gear on. And something I noticed about these, I'm gonna put this back on here so I don't lose it, okay? If you, if you need to fasten this somewhere, put it on your GoPro chesty strap and it slips off. Ignore this string for right now, but the string is the answer. What I got was some elastic string from fabric place 
and essentially what I'm gonna do is I tied a knot I, don't know if you can see. I tied a knot around this put it off the side so it doesn't interfere with the clip I'm gonna take this now right and I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna take this around the back like this fold it over like that and this mic will fall off when hell freezes over so that's how this is gonna work for me okay um turn my mic on so it's it's recording okay and that's how that works See that? Did you see that? I'm gonna take this like this. And I'm speaking quietly because I wanna see how these microphones handle quiet. Mic is on and recording. Okay. So I was running that without my microphone on. Now I have okay. This'll never come off now. I can't lose this even if I try. Put this up here so what am I with? Right? That's my two cents on this. That's my suggestion to keep this secure. Um, even if you're riding summertime, warm weather, and you've got just a jersey on, the problem is I don't believe that these clips will will hold on tightly enough to your <coughs> the jersey material. It tends to be slippery. So this works. You can even put it here if you want, higher up, wrap it around. It'll stay there forever. Okay, as you can see, the DJI mics survived stayed on that little bandy thing really worked well Don is still there as well it's on the front of her strap you can see it. Oh, look at that it's there doing its job still recording but anyway um did you mic that's how you fasten them when you're out riding to your hydration pack i don't recommend you put them on a piece of clothing with a magnet or with a clip um i just i doubt they'll stay if you have a wipeout you hit a branch or something gone lost forever dji care might help you out there but i don't know if they cover negligence or crazy behavior anyway as always stress less ride more ride smart ride safe freezing my ass off it's going to minus 20 tonight so i'm going to go find something hot to eat take care see you guys in the trails